Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this Godcraft Spotlight and today we are going to do modular force field systems again. Today is 2.1.7.0.22. Remember this because the versions do change quite often and it's important that you realize a lot of things can change and uh, so I thought I would do a whole new spotlight on this maybe a little faster maybe down to the point and I've also learned a few things so hopefully you guys can uh, you know understand this my suggestion install NEI and you'll get all the recipes that's probably the key component to this mod uh, from there I'm just gonna give you a run over so there's a new ore added called Mazatai Manzata. Mazenta? I can't say it. <laughs> and uh, when you break this wonderful piece of ore, you get this new dust. And this dust is called Forcillium. It's going to remind you of Nicolite, except, guess what? It actually has a use in this mod. And now, if you combine 9 Forcillium in a crafting bench, ta-da, you get this new thing called a block of Forcillium. And yes, you can use it inside of your force energy extractor so when you begin this mod I suggest you get a bunch of forcillium and then the first block you're gonna wanna craft is this lovely block here which is called an MFFX extractor just pretend to make it simple pretend it's a generator and it extracts forcillium when you put it in here it extracts the forcillium out of here not only that you require to do this extraction process to produce this forcillium which is pretty much an energy, like a force energy, which it says right there, force energy. You're going to need a build craft power input, or an industrial craft power input, or uh, universal electricity uh, input now, which is pretty amazing. So we're just going to do a quick uh, cable here, and we're going to go and do uh, solar panel power. <laughs> and if we go here and put a couple of these down here, and just throw this like this, and put it in its rear, you'll see it'll start running. Um, there you go. And it has a buffer of 100k. You can make this the process even faster using an upgrade called the Extractor Booster. And when you put it in there, do 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 do. Now apparently this is a little less efficient and it can use a bit more energy. I haven't really actually seen that happen but I'm just letting you guys know. Um, the next block after this is more, let's call it a battery box, uh, except it's called uh, energy capacitor, force energy capacitor. And the nice thing about this mod is almost everything is in MFFS. Uh, it's all stored in here, nice and neat, except, of course, the forcillium and the ore block doesn't show up on there, but 90% of the other mechanics are labeled with MFFS at the start of it. So the next block you place is this wonderful one. And uh, just to show you the recipes on these, they're pretty easy. Force energy. Um, like I said, that, that's something you need to do in NEI. Uh, and this is not really a recipe guide, but more of uh, just how do you assemble it. Because it's a complex mod, and a lot of people seem to have issues there. And then, of course, the next machine, of course, I'm doing is the energy capacitor. There you go again. And once again, the crystals are made with forcillium and diamond pretty sexy so once we have this machine we can open it and you see all these little things here don't don't get all upset it's it's pretty easy what you want to do is make this card called an MFS card and it's made out of paper and a circuit and you're gonna need a few of those so uh, you can uh, make a couple of them so you have them and you right click the capacitor and then you click the extractor now if we made a couple more extractors like this we can actually go around and do this uh, click the capacitor and click each one and link them up so now we have more of them linked uh, maybe this one will be doing build craft maybe this one will be doing universal electricity not only that but um, getting rid of the boosters and having more of these is more efficient um, Again, I haven't really been able to produce those results, but it is more efficient, supposedly, to use more of these rather than use the boosters themselves. Um, so now you can see it's running here, and it's filling up the capacity. So the capacity is about 10 million, I believe. Uh, maybe a little bit more. But you can actually boost that. In this machine, you can use something called a capacitor upgrade, which is really cool. So you just take this, and boom, it does a huge chunk there. And we can do it one more time if you want. Boom. Look at that. Now it can go up to um, the, the, uh, the 50 million. Yes, there you go. 50 million. I'll talk right. Or you could use this capacitor upgrade range. 
and it'll actually say range and it'll transmit up to 80 blocks away and what that means is it can actually send a signal to the next block which is our projector which we can now run over here you don't have to be two feet away from it if for some reason you want to hide that elsewhere um, which is called the uh, projector version 2 which I think is just called projector on there but it says version 2 on here and this looks pretty complex and it can do some complex things I'm only going to be showing you guys the basic setup here and you can play and learn with the other stuff um, because I think that's something you need to explore and play around with. But once again, we want a link. So we're going to go over here to the capacitor and get our link, and we can right-click this. It's, it's lovely how you can just do that, so with a blank card. And there you go. And now the link card's there, and it's showing the power. If the power is showing, you know it's in range. So it's definitely in range of 80 blocks. You know everything's working. We're set. So now you need a type mod. The type mod basically is what you're projecting, and without that, you can't do diddly dot that didn't even make sense but anyways here we go so we're gonna get the cube one the cube is my favorite or you can get uh, the sphere so we'll, we'll try both of them um, the sphere does well exactly what I just said a little sphere so we can get a little redstone here ta -da. and there you go it does a bit of a sphere now it's kind of hard to see this because well with the sphere it's uh, kind of a little small so you're gonna want to upgrade the range so let's go back to our MFFS and here you go field modulator and it says distance so it helps you out to give you an idea what it means and uh, when you right click this baby we're gonna do a half a stack here and you turn off and on to do now you can see it now it looks like a sphere and you won't see it on your mini map so don't even try but there you go it's an actual sphere and it looks pretty badass yeah pretty cool and if we were to disable that and do the cube one which is my, my favorite I just like things in a, I guess a mathematical or as you can see when I took that out all the upgrades get fl flopped out and when you put this in here it'll tell you what upgrades you can use so it's saying you can only put something here you can't use these those are for other uh, ones here and uh, I guess I could probably find one here that may work it I'm not going to show you how to use that that's that's all up to you but uh, there you go you can use a green one and that one um, this this modulator one lets you use these ones and you fill these up with I'll just give you a clue I believe you use the field modulator strength for it or there was another one that maybe it actually you know what I think you were supposed to use do 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 let's see here see I even I'm a completely noob and I've been playing this non-stop focus matrix I think that's what it is yeah it's the focus matrix there you go um, and it shoots it up and you can see if I were to go like this and bring it down it'll shoot it a different direction there you go it's probably shooting it downwards right now yep pretty cool so that's how that one works but anyways let's go back to the cube and let's put our upgrade back in here and let's launch this baby boom so this area should be a big cube now and that's the way I like it and you can see it kinda comes in not instantly but kinda throttled which is kinda cool uh, probably to uh, vent some lag and stuff so that's a huge 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 range um, we can reduce that down a bit just so we can get close to it there we go nice so the next big key item here is going to be a security station but before we get to the uh, security station we're gonna make this new tool now this tool can be made with this recipe you don't need to make more than one don't make the mistake of making more than this one tool but it's a wrench switch teleporter and card coder so we're gonna go and make that by spawning it out of midair and you can't charge this with an MFSU anymore you used to charge it with an MFSU instead you charge it with the capacitor which I think is a wonderful little neat idea so you go over here to the capacitor and it has this little slot here where you can fill this in so uh, where did my little tool go nice and it fills up nice nice thing about this tool is it's also the crystal that you use to access a shield back and forth and it stores a million uh, FE instead of a hundred thousand I believe um, which is amazing because it lets you go back and forth in the force field a uh, hundred times and I, I'm so happy about that it made me almost cry having to uh, you know use my crystal ten times and then I'd always have to charge it up so that was a really nice addition um, 
with this you have a few things. You have this wrench where you can wrench things and fix the projector. I'm not quite sure how the wrench thing works. Um, that's something for you guys to play around with. Uh, you have this power switch, which I really recommend if you're on a multiplayer server. Basically, you click this button here and you turn on the power switch. Um, oops. Oh, shifting did, did it anyways, but it turns it on and off. And by the way, turning this on and off does quite use a, quite a bit of energy. So if we look at the thing, we just keep turning it on and off and on and off. It's actually kind of hard to show you it that way, but it does use quite a bit of energy usually when you start up your shield. Um, that's part of the mechanic. It's like sort of like a car when you start a car or a computer or even a TV, it uses quite a bit of uh, energy um, to start up. Uh, but anyways, there we go. We got that up. So the next block that you're going to be interested in making is something called a security station. Now I'm going to show you quickly to do the security station for one person and multiple people because it seems like a few people were having difficulty with this. So here's your security station. So all you have to do is a blank card and then you take your little multi-tool and you shift down till it looks like this and what it's called is an ID uh, coder card and all you do is right click. Boom. It's create an ID card right here and it says I only get uh, force field access which means I can't touch anything but the force field, um, which when we put in here, we can actually upgrade. Once you put it in there, it gives you full access, or if it's for another friend, you put it over here. So now you leave that card there, you never touch it, and this is working now. We can actually access the force field by shift down and using this new tool here, which is called the field t uh, transporter. And all you do is access denied. So look at this. I've already failed at doing everything in life. And you know why it's access denied? Because this security station's... Uh, actually, no, I don't even think it's the security station. We haven't put a card in here. <laughs> Silly me. So all you have to do, this is really cool, to link any of the objects with this, all you have to do is right-click the security station. And you get this really cool card, which says security station link. And you right-click there. And then if we run all the way over here, and then we right-click this, ta-da! Sorry, I had to. I was excited. And that's how it works. And um, there's been a number of upgrades. If we... Oh, we are not in creative mode. If we click this... Ow! It hurts. Um, also, it's hard to do it without uh, taking damage, but... Let's see if we can do this without... Oh, that almost killed me. Um, the blocks don't break anymore. They don't even have uh, a progression. Uh, like, they're, they're basically obsidian. Uh, another one? Watch this. It's raining? Oh, God, I hate rain. Everyone hates rain. There goes the sun, and it's raining out. Wait, it's not raining. Yes, it is. When you're in the force field now, rain can penetrate it. Nice! And of course, when you turn it off, it will. Ta-da! And another couple neat items that you can upgrade this with is a no uh, NPC defense here. And basically, when you put this in here, mobs that spawn in here will get on pretty damn quick. So if we go here, I have all my uh, eggs turned off, so let's go and find an egg, shall we? Eggs! <laughs> eggs! There we go. So we'll, we'll turn on the creeper egg here. There we go. Creep. And we spawn a creeper. Ta-da-da-da. Oh, you know what? We're in peaceful anyways. I guess they won't have uh, much uh, chance of living here, but there you go. Ta-da. And they instantly die. And in the next version, so version 23, um, he's going to add another config so you can make it so... And if this is only if Forge supports it and whatnot, so it's not a guaranteed one. Um, what it'll do is these mobs won't even have a chance to spawn in here. Because what happens is these mobs will spawn naturally in here, just like normal. 
Um, but uh, as a server admin, I found, you know, that's a bit laggy, especially when you have a lot of players doing it. And some people will start cheating and using it just to get an advantage of killing mob grinders and whatnot. So I thought, you know, what a nice feature if we could make it so mobs don't spawn within the force field, period. Which makes sense, because, I mean, you, you it, what's the point of having all these dead corpses all over the place all the time? Kind of looks weird. So uh, he's going to add that as a config option in the next one, which is going to be great. Um, so if we go back to this lovely thing, um, one more really, really fun upgrade is the MFFS, uh, the USS Enterprise, no, um, this wonderful one right here, Camouflage. What is Camouflage for? Well, people like Electro, he complained that he disliked um, the look of the force field, like he was near my property, he says it's ugly and I dislike it, and, you know. Electro being Electro. Look at these guys. This poor guy's gonna get zapped. Aww. And the coolest part about this is that the rain still doesn't penetrate it and it's invisible now. How cool is that? That is so sweet. And again, of course, you can use your teleporter and go out. You have to go to the wall border here. And then go back in. Of course, sometimes it's a bit annoying because you can't see it. When you get close to it, there's no like little magical thing, but that'd probably be taxing anyways. But hey, it works and it's nice. Um, and of course, like you can see, there's lots of upgrades. There's lots of little fun things to do. That is something you need to discover, including this new one, which was just added, a force energy converter. I'm not going to even try it out because I think that's something you guys really need to play with. Um, but, uh, actually, I guess I could add it for a second. I just don't want to spoil you guys too much. It's this little puppy here, and it converts energy. So, um, my assumption is you link the card into there, and, uh, it works. Right, let's give it a little quick try here. So, you take this, you link it there, and there you go. So, if you probably hook up an MFSU to this, you could probably convert power back into the MFSU. So, like that, I'm assuming. Something like that. Like I said, that's something you guys need to play around with. And uh, actually, it looks like this is how you turn it on. See? I'm probably not even doing it right. Yeah. See, I'm failing at it anyways. Um, but that's definitely something you guys need to do. That's, that's a little fun thing for you guys to do. Oh, look at this. I wonder what that does. That's probably where you put, like, an MFSU. <laughs> No, that's probably an upgrade or a chip or something. But anyways, I'm not going to do any more of that. Because that's something for you guys to discover and play. Last thing, how do you make this security station for multiplayer uh, so you can have your friends access it? Well, guys, that's really, really easy. Uh, all you do is type in MFFS, and you're going to make this item here, the external ID reader. You probably have figured that out. Um, what a lot of people haven't figured out is they take their card out and etc and they've had problems there. No, just put this in as an option, keep your card there. What you do now is you create something called a chest. And I, I can't be 100% sure, but I think I had issues with modded chests. Just use a regular chest, not a problem there. And basically what you do is you're like, okay buddy, um, to your friend, you're like, uh, let's get the card here. Uh, okay, you want access to my thing? Here, take this tool and take this ca card. And when you get the tool in your inventory, right-click the uh, tool. Your card will change and then pass him back. And basically, it gives him his little ID card. Um, and you throw it in this chest. And now he can access the force field and etc. Um, if you want him to be able to uh, access all the blocks as well, like turn on and off the force field, for example, what you would do is you'd go into the security station here. And then you would take his card and you put it in a full access. And there you go. And then you would put his card back in here. And he can access all the machines, of course. And uh, you can actually put the security card in, I think, almost every machine. For example, the capacitor. You just right-click the capacitor again. Has it in there. Uh, extractor, I don't think, needs it. Uh, but there you go. So no one could touch the capacitor as well. And hopefully that was a good quick rundown on MFFS for you guys. Um, like I said, probably best to install NEI. I mean, who doesn't use NEI these days for recipe mode? Um, really good mo uh, mod out there uh, for that. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys check out MFFS. It's in my comment below. And uh, thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this.